Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Music Kigalis, Mrs. Aldinger. What? There's something on my head? What? I don't see anything on my head. Oh. Isn't it cute? It's a donkey. Remember that. All right. Let's find the beat together, but we're going to move right away today. We're going to use our whole bodies to find the beat, and we are going to be moving around the room. So I'm going to turn this around so I've got some space, but I wanted you to see the card of all the animals so you knew where you were at when you clicked on the video. All right. Will you stand up and find some place to move? We're going to move fast and slow. Here we go. Okay, put the beat in your feet. We are marching to the rhythm. We are marching to the beat. We are lifting up our knees and we are stamping down our feet. But the song keeps getting faster with each verse that we complete. The tempo marches on. to warm up our voices so that we can sing a song. All right. Mrs. Zoldinger has a new one. She just created this today. And I don't know if you can read this word, but it says fast with an exclamation mark. Fast. We just marched fast. And this word says slow. Like the turtle last time in music was very slow. So with my voice, I'm going to go up high really fast. And then the next thing I'm going to do is stay low with my voice very slowly. I'm going to go higher really fast with my voice. And then I'm going to change and go very low for very, very slowly and stay low. Let me do it first, then you can do it with me, then you get to do it by yourself, okay? And don't forget to draw, draw it, follow the line with your finger, draw it in the air, okay? My turn. Whoop. Ooh. Do it with me. Whoop. Ooh. Do it by yourself. Do it by yourself again. And that's all we're gonna do to warm up our voice today. Hmm, Mrs. Alding, are you trying to trick us? No, but I have lots of fun things to do. Let's sing our song about the four white horses. I taught it all to you last time. I taught you the whole song last time. Get you a little closer right here. And I'm gonna sing it. And if you'd like to just sing with me, that would be great. If you need to listen to it once, that would be fine too. All right, it goes like this. Four white horses on the river. Hey, 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 up tomorrow. Up tomorrow is a rainy day. Come on and join our shadow play. Shadow play is a ripe banana. Hey, 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 up tomorrow. Up tomorrow is a rainy day. 
Let me give you some signals, some little motions. It helps, it helps remember the words. Sing it with me, sing with me. Four white horses on the river, hey, 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 up tomorrow, up tomorrow is a rainy day. Come on and join our shadow play. Shadow play is a ripe banana. I'm peeling my banana. Hey, 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 up tomorrow, up tomorrow is a rainy day. Whoops, this one, sorry. Let's do it one more time, okay? Four, sing with me. Four white horses on the river, hey, 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 up Tomorrow, up tomorrow is a rainy day. Come on and join our shadow play. Shadow play is a ripe banana. Hey, 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 up tomorrow, up tomorrow is a rainy day. Doesn't singing make you happy? It just makes my heart happy. And the only thing that would make me happier is if I could hear your voices. I miss you guys a lot. All right, we are going to review about our composer, Mr. Did you say his name? Camille Saisons. Camille Saisons. And I told you already, he's the composer. What does a composer do? Eats pizza? He might have ate pizza. But that's not what a composer means. What does the composer mean? What does the composer do? What's their job? Mm -hmm. They write the music. And somebody wrote the music we just sang. Four Ooh. white horses on the river. I don't know who wrote that music. Sometimes I do, but I don't know. Maybe I can find out, but I don't know right now. But somebody wrote it, and that person is the composer. Remember, boys and girls, a composer can be somebody little, could be somebody big, somebody um, uh, tall, somebody short, somebody with a different color skin than you have, a girl, a boy. It could be somebody in China or somebody in Africa or somebody in Italy or somebody in Tualatin, Oregon. If they write the music, they are the composer. This man, when he was only five years old, five years old, he wrote his first piece of music. He did. Cool. And I'm so glad he kept writing because he wrote amazing music. And because of him, we get to listen to the Carnival of the Animals. So let's quick review our animals that you know so far. You know... Here comes the lion, and the lion roared on the piano. I can't move my pictures fast enough, you guys. <laughs> on the piano, and that was the sound of... Oh, my piece just fell down. Hold on. <laughs> Did you roar? And then the second animal we listened to were the, mm -hmm, the birds. Do you remember the instrument? It's silver, and you hold it sideways, and I can't find it. There it is. It's called the flute. And then the third animal I introduced you to was the enormous elephant. I won't say the wrong word this time. Elephant. And he was played on the bass violin, one that's taller than a man. And that's the music that sounded like Elephant was dancing around. Do you remember watching that? And then I introduced you to the fast footed animals. See them wearing tennis shoes? And I talked about them being like horses, 
but some of you told me fast animals, and some of you said cheetah and tiger and uh, zebra. If they have four feet, they're fast when they run, that would be the fast-footed animal. And that was the music that sounded a little bit like as they ran up the mountain and they ran down the mountain and they ran up the mountain and they ran down the mountain. Then last time, just a couple of days ago, when you watched the music video, lesson number 63, <laughs> we learned about the turtle. And the turtle was also played on the bass violin, the one that's taller than a man. And the turtle, remember how Mr. Cezanne's kind of made a joke? out of that song called the can-can. Oh, can you do the can-can, can you do the can-can? And he knew that was really fast, but he knew a turtle was really slow. So he used that music and he wrote it really slow. always on the floor, aren't they? Is the donkey. You know what a donkey says? What kind of sound does the donkey make when he talks? That's right. Hee-ha. Hee-ha. Well, Mr. Saisons was out walking one day, and he saw in the meadow a whole bunch of donkeys, and he stopped and he listened to them. He saw them, but all of a sudden he could hear them because they were making their donkey sound. Hee-ha. And he thought, I can write music to sound like that. So he went home and he looked around his music room at all his different instruments. He knew he could use the piano. He loves the piano. He knew he could use the string bass, taller than a man. But he thought, I'm going to use a different one. So this time he went and he took an instrument that looks like this. Oh, yeah, some of you are saying it. It is, it's a violin. And he put the violin under his chin. Boys and girls, would you put a pretend violin under your chin, please? And hold it right there. And then take your arm and hold it out. Then take your other hand and take a bow. And go, Are you doing this with me? Do it again. And he thought, oh, it sounds like the hee-haw. So he wrote, this music. Would you please just listen? It's really short. Would you just listen while you hear the donkey from Carnival of the Animals? Did it kind of sound a little bit like the hee If you use your imagination, could it sound like the donkey going, hee-ha? I think it could. And it's also kind of the shape of this. Hee-ha. Hee-ha. Say it with me. Hee-ha. Hee-ha. We need to get up and move again, don't we? Let's jump every time the donkey says hee-haw. All right, you need a little bit of space. I'm gonna move this bench back a little bit. I got a little bit of space. And let's jump every time you hear the donkey say hee-haw. Here we go. 
Are you jumping? Boys and girls, do you think we could do this just one more time? Could you count how many times you jumped this time? How many times did Mr. Saison's have the donkey say hee haw? So if you're jumping when it's hee haw, that would be one. Let's count this time, okay? And then we'll sit down after this. Let's count. There's one. you can sit down. Whew. After marching fast and slow and then jumping to the hee-haw, I'm a little tired. Good job, guys. So while we rest for just about one minute, will you watch this quick video? You're going to hear that same music. Hee-haw. No, you're not going to see donkeys this time. Sorry. This is the only donkey you're going to get to see today. But you're going to see a whole bunch, a whole bunch a whole bunch of violins playing the music that Mr. Saisons wrote because he's the composer. So would you watch? I'll be here when you come back. In the world of mules, there are no rules. <laughs> That was a lot of violins, wasn't it? All right, boys and girls, I'm going to end just a little bit sooner today. So you have now heard six different animals from the Carnival of the Animals. Thank you, Mr. Saisons, for writing that music. I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.